It's over, Danoth. I got you right where I want you. You're a fool. You'll never be able to catch me alive. Because I have a secret weapon. Now what kind of secret would that be? I, I think it's, is it gonna be like super duper cool and everyone's gonna be thinking it's super cool? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. This is the biggest secret ever and it's gonna be super cool oh when God, I show you it's it. That? Whoa, what happened here? Seems like the sketch froze itself. Well, that's a shame. You wanna know why it froze itself? It's, it's quite easy actually. Not enough, enough people are following me on Instagram, you know. So go and follow me on Instagram and maybe this will start. Spoiler, it, it won't. But maybe the real one is on Instagram, huh? You better check that out. Please follow me on Instagram. Let's get on with the video. What is up, Space Rangers? It's Danoff here. And before this video starts, I had a different video planned today. I recorded it yesterday. No sound. No sound at all. I, I came home. No sound because of this goddamn stupid GoPro mic adapter that makes it always so you lose all your fucking sound. So, I was like, no big deal. I can make a new one today. It won't be a problem at all. Then, this morning, going to class, I got a rock in my ear. You might be like, uh, Dano, how did you get a rock in your ear? That doesn't make sense. That's my exact, you know, thought as well. But it bounced into my ear somehow, making my ear really irritated and, you know, kind of itchy. So when I stopped and took off my helmet, I did a little magic trick, pulling a fucking rock out of my ear. That was pretty impressive. People were like, damn, this dude is fucking cool. Um, so that was a little magic trick I did. But then after class, I was like, all right, time to recreate the video. You know, it's not going to be as funny because it never is, but it's going to be funny. Uh, then I started writing and as soon as I got up to like 60 something in my ear just went and then And that sound is still going and it's so loud and my head hurts so bad It's like pulsating in any seconds now. I'm gonna lose my fucking brain and it's gonna explode So we're making a different video today <laughs> But it's gonna it's still gonna be funny. It's still gonna be entertaining. Please stay and watch it. My head hurts so much. So without further ado <laughs> Let's just jump right on into it Today we're gonna talk about the curse of having a motorcycle and before we enter, you know the curse part You know the part you're here for let me just put out some groundwork for you guys so you better understand first off we all know motorcycles are cool as hell, especially me. I'm basically the coolest, most handsome motorcyclist slash magician slash... Uh, what more have I done? Slash prankster slash uh, flower giver slash, you know, hero maybe as well. <laughs> I'm probably, you know, the, 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 the coolest one of those people, all those criteria I just gave myself. Comedian as well, of course, of course a comedian. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna say titles that I <laughs> want to bestow upon myself. Uh, no, but anyways, we all know, motorcycles are cool as hell, I'm cool as hell, I'm super handsome, you're cool as hell if you have one, you're super cool. Here's the problem. No one else thinks that. <laughs> it's just you and me, pal. <laughs> Everybody else just thinks we're, uh, we're, you know, dumb people on, on, a, on a, you know, putting a fucking explosive barrel under our crotch and being like, <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, rock, dude. So here's the thing. If you say to someone, I have a motorcycle, nine out of ten cases, they won't fucking care. I'm sorry, that's the truth. I know, I wish the world was a different place, man, but sadly, this is the way it is. Maybe one day, maybe one day we will be respected. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. If you talk to someone that's mildly interested in you, you know, if you're like, you know, you put in some groundwork, you, 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 you've been a charming little guy. So what you started with doing was like maybe something like you were like, Hi, my name is... I'm fucking Danoff, alright? <laughs> That's right. You can use my name to pick up girls, boys, or whatever. I don't care. As long as you do it, you know, I, as long as you make them sub to the channel as well, I don't mind, alright? <laughs> so use that one. You're like, I'm Danoff. And immediately they will be very interested. So when they're already interested because you're me, uh, that's when you put in the killing blow. You're like, I have a motorcycle. In that case, in my experience, it actually works really well. A motorcycle is considered attractive after all. If you watch media, movies, m music, I guess, anything, every time a motorcycle comes up, it's not like, oh, the dork on the motorcycle, or oh, dumb motorcycle, ugly motorcycle. It's always something like rebellious, attractiveness, that's a word, I think. And you know, 
dangerous <laughs> it's always you know a cool thing a motorcycle is never if you see someone on a motorcycle you don't imagine them taking off their helmet and you see like Albert Einstein under there that would be cool if he was still there but you know you imagine you know a guy with a beard you know he has pearly blue eyes a rugged face he has some weird scars you don't know how he got him but it was probably a brawl he had you know in Texas when he went through there on a long ass ride and you know he puts a cigar to his mouth he takes a whiff and throws the entire thing away and then you're like dude you're so cool and he's like, you know what I ride a motorcycle because I'm not afraid of death I want to live my life on the field. You're sitting on the lectern or whatever it's called and you're watching the game. What am I doing? I'm playing the game. You know, <laughs> that's so stupid. But the point is, it works. In my experience, you know, saying that if someone's already interested in you, mentioning you have a bike, usually works. You know, it's an attractive thing. It's dangerous. It's kind of, like, ooh, why do they do that? They, they have a sort of passion, a sort of lifestyle. Blah, 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 blah. Fun stuff, I know. So, for example, if you meet someone and you're like, it's an easy way to get a first date is what I'm trying to say. If you're like, oh, you want to go to this place and eat, I can pick you up on my motorcycle. That's kind of exciting. A lot of people have never been on a motorcycle. So it's like, maybe they're not super interested kind of but they're like oh okay you know i kind of want to ride a motorcycle so they get on the back and then you have a chance you just gotta be really good you know i gave you a chance now i gave you a chance by telling you this tip now you'll give them a ride then you'll get there and then that's when you can talk and get them to know you so if they were unsure maybe that's when they start liking you you know or maybe that's the time when they realize Oh wait, this this is that Danov guy, isn't it? Yeah, he's he's fucking weird, man. That can also happen. That usually happens to me. But <laughs> but the point is, it works. It's an attractive thing. Here's the curse, all right. And the curse scares me to my core, man. The curse is that their friends, most of their friends, is are gonna hate you, and their parents are gonna hate you so much. And this is why it scares me. This is the curse. My ex-girlfriend, I know, story time, I have an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. You know, I get a lot of girls, what can I say? I even have an ex-girlfriend. But, <laughs> but here's the point. She loved my motorcycle because, you know, I'm a cool guy. Wah! So, <laughs> that was, that was kind of weird. So, she loved my motorcycle, but I remember the time that her father find out that I had a motorcycle was the most scary time of my entire life keep in mind that her father was probably two meters tall you know probably weighed like 120 he was a fucking unit dude's huge all right and he told me he took me <laughs> he took me to the side and he never talks it's like one of those silent guys even more scary and took me to the side and he said if you ever hurt my daughter on your motorcycle, I'll make sure that I hurt you twice as bad. And that shit scared me shitless, man, because I was only 17 at the time, man. He scared the fuck out of me, dude. I was like, yes, sir. I will never hurt you, sir. If I do, you have the right to kill me, sir. And he was like, damn right I do, son. And then he pushed me, you know, if one of those friendly back push that almost made me fucking fall. So, <laughs> why bye bye, you wait. What are you doing? What? <laughs> All right. So anyways, the curse is that you will get fucking death threats from people. <laughs> so, you know, the very same thing that makes, you know, someone interested in you, if, you know, it's a good card. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a really good card. It's kind of like, you know, having really blue eyes. It's a good extra card, you know, it's attractive. It's a good card to be able to be like, shapam, blue eyes, or shapam, motorcycle. But here's the thing. <laughs> that very same card has the curse that only that person will like you and everyone else wants you dead <laughs> because they're just thinking about if you fall yeah the person on the back is gonna get really hurt because people think motorcycles are so dangerous and let's face it yes they are you know it's basically you're sitting on this machine and you bear <laughs> and you're like the gyroscopes keeps it going straight and they're like what the fuck do you even mean so yeah motorcyclists are dangerous yes i know 
and they're stupid, I know, but I hate that people think that you're a worse driver because, you know, being in a car has a higher chance of crashing. It's just, you know, a lower chance of dying. <laughs> no, so the very, the, the curse is that everyone you meet, most likely their parents will not like you at all. <laughs> And that's pretty. Oh, cop! Whoa, they got the entire place locked down. I, I'm. And you know, that's it for this video. As I said, I'm sorry that this video was a little bit different. You know, I, my, my head right now feels like if I scream, my head would probably explode. Okay, my head hurts so bad, and I just know I have to edit all of this. And. Uh, Oh my god, but guys don't worry the next next week I have some big videos planned and they're gonna be funny and my ears are not gonna try and kill me So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and if you really enjoyed this video Thank you very much. This is Danov signing off